In the beginning, there was Cobra Law. Welcome to another episode of Shaggy Toy Reviews. Two idiots, a camera, and a review. What do we have? G.I. Joe Classified Deluxe Scrap Iron Anti-Armor Drone. So it's a dude and a tank. Missile launcher tank thing, yeah. So long ago, uh, they made Scrap Iron as a single-carded guy with this giant double-barreled missile launcher thing. And he, in the 80s, was the same price as single carded figure. Hmm. So they made it three times as big as it was. And uh, made him cost, you know, $10, $15 more. Right. And he's awesome. Let's talk about circulation. Okay. Because we were chatting beforehand and you were using the table to bend a knee. So, so he has the standard Hasbro G.I. Joe articulation. Is he a little stiff? When I open a toy, I go down. Okay. Try and move the joints. Mm -hmm. Um. So I moved him, and I moved. He's got the cool hips, and then I bent his knee, and it went like that. I went, huh? And then I tried to bend this upper. Yeah. And I couldn't, and I couldn't, and I couldn't, and then I took, I put it on the table like this to try and use some force, mm -hmm. and I couldn't, and couldn't, and um, I said maybe I'll stop messing with that knee put that one back and then I went to this side and I went nah! and I got the top part to move but not the bottom but not the bottom part Holy cow. so then I put it on the table again uh -huh. trying to get that one to go you can kind of see some uh, oh. stress marks in his knee yikes so I don't know if the plastic melted together or what quite happened there I was eventually able to get both of that knee to move, and it is tight, tighter than I like. But it freed up. But freed up. This one, I still am unable to move the other joint. So that is the first time that's happened to that extreme with a G.I. Joe guy. And I will mention, most of the time when they have a band... It's just a loose gun holster. Yeah. But now it's attached to his belt. And they kind of... Just a little bit. Bunches out. Well, yeah, but... Doesn't... Hmm. So... It's not the worst thing, but... I will point out that that uh, restricts some. And he is the first G.I. Joe classified, uh, while we're talking about stuff, that I thought his head was a little bit small. Maybe, yeah, sure. And I can't tell if it's because he's got shaved sides or because they made his head smaller so that when he, spoilers, puts on his helmet, it looks right and isn't giant. But they've had... They've had great helmets and hats. I think part of the problem might be the chest. Uh, the overlay is a little bit puffier than if it were sculpted that way. Mm -hmm. It's not a deal breaker, but it's just... It's one of those things, once you notice it, it's hard to not see. Yeah. But the, the sculpt looks great, yeah. as, as is typical for classified. I love that gnarly Freddy Krueger melty face. I might want to wash on it. But yeah, he, he, he does a great job of looking like scrap iron. And they painted everything that should be painted. Yeah, he's got his red straps, all his buckles are painted... On his gear, even the, in the back, they painted everything. So, again, and they even have a different red on this section of his torso. Whatever those pouches are. But yeah, he, he looks awesome. I'm happy. The tank also looks great. Is that an accessory? Yes. Is everything an accessory? Kinda. You get in your package this four treaded base um it's got some ball jointed attachments here so these kind of do move a little rubberized bit. but not movable treads rubberized yes they're different plastic from the black so they feel different but yeah they don't actually move and then this has paint apps there 
has anti-tank number two, Mars Industries logos, coolness on it. Even the back has got some headlights on it. Make sure you don't run into it. And yeah, it's got a ball joint. It's got even some green up there. Um, and there's even a silver accent on what I'm assuming is the Wi-Fi connection. Mm -hmm. And then it comes with two laser-guided missiles. And I'm going to go, hey, smart guy, is laser a Z or S? I feel like when I was growing up, it was a Z, and at some point it became an S. That's that's what I feel like. And these are a nice upscale version. Um, this one is bent. I don't know if you can tell. That made me sad. Hmm. But I'm sure I could heat that up. Uh, and then it comes with two different awesome plumes of smoke and fire exhaust. First of all, you can... Stick your missiles in there to start with on both sides, and then you can have them shoot out. And this one is shorter, and there are plugs in the back, so these are not just shaped weird. They actually plug in there so they don't fall out. Um, and then this one is longer, and I think those are cool, so you can have them shooting out. Um, the one thing I wish it could do is it tilt up more mm. like the original one just swiveled but if you're gonna give me a ball joint a little more I don't know have to be pretty far away to get the A yes There's... there are also similarly styled effects yes uh, hollow explosion pieces yes which are cool and great and awesome and neat but I don't know exactly how to display them. Like, these look like impacts, maybe? <coughs> yes. Whereas, like, this one looks like the back, like, should be, or something. Well, if you show it from this way, just pair that with some cowboys and it's like tumbleweed. <laughs> nice. I have some cowboys, maybe I'll try that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's this one, which is kind of a swoosh. There's this one where it obviously, and then there's two versions of, of that, which I think look really cool. So basically, what Hasbro is telling you, one, two, three, four, five, six extra pieces of explosions cost you $15. Hmm. Oh, and then he has his trademark scrap iron helmet, which has gloss paint on it to make it look like it's it's not actually see-through like the Cobra Eel is. Hmm. Oh, I wanted to point out, I don't know if you can see it, uh, his mohawk is molded in there, so it's supposed to like fit on, right, like, nice. I don't it's thoughtful so now I don't think his head's too small now I think his head looks proportionate he does look better and then he comes with I don't know what you would call this type of gun a handgun a handgun but it looks like one of those ones that you would like like you would homemade make it and like, ch -ch, like oh I see um, I'm, I can't it's from a movie. I'm making it up. It fits in his hand. It fits in his holster so he can store it. There's a hole in the end of that, but do they have muzzle effects? No. Not that I remember. Hmm. Um, but Marvel Legends do, and they will work just fine on it. I don't remember Joe with a muzzle effect yet. But I don't have all the Joes, so I don't know. Okay. And then, um, because it's 2023, he comes with this very well done remote. It's got two controllers, it's got a nice little targeting system on there, and he can hold it. Nice. You can even get his thumb on the thumb pad. Wow. And so I like to have him kind of like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I don't need to have him bend that knee. <laughs> that <I can't> <laughs> but yeah, 
scrap iron was a fan favorite toy as far as my friends concerned he felt like a deal because he had this mega tank rocket thing yeah that makes sense and the fact that this one isn't is kind of dumb but whatever and in case it wasn't clear earlier he's six inch gi joe scale which is the taller of the six inch scales but I bet you, I bet you, he, he he's got some big feet to fill. Big feet to fill. Oh, there we go. I will also point out that I like he's got like a totally different color flesh tone than any other guy. Like he's kind of pale looking. I like it in a good way, not in a dead plastic way. He's got some lively flesh tone, like doesn't get out much yeah looks good final thoughts and i don't know why i just like miniature tanks <laughs> uh general classified is always a well done figure i'm gonna say um this is 20 dollars additional for a tank and some effect pieces the effect pieces are also nice i don't think i've seen these since one of the Black Widows, like, years ago. Um, and these are new sculpts. I don't recognize any of these from any previous version of effect explosion things. So that's nice, too. Um, I'm going to say four hammers due to knees, although clearly they have been bent. <laughs> he will bend the knee. But it shouldn't take that much effort. No. No. And for $45, I shouldn't have put that much effort into bending his knees. I should have just heated it up or done something. Heat it, don't break it. Well, not all of us can pull a Deekman. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so I'm going to go 3.5. Okay. Because the knees were ridiculous. And as cool as the battle explosions and things are... I'm not going to use the four big ones. It seems like you would be one of the guys. I mean, these are, it, it's sort of like toy photography people. Yeah. Or um, dioramas. And I thought you had, like, battle setups. I, I do, but, like, the battle setup for missile launchers would be across the room. Yeah. And due, across the due room to, is going to be NECA. Due to this angle. Yeah. So... I'm, I'll probably use those, maybe, but they're going to be in the way. Like, I could put a guy or two in front of those or something. It does still look good if you take the smoke off, if you take the plume off. Yeah. I mean, even if you just have it inside there. So, we'll good. see. But, yeah, they're, they're, they're well done. They're cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with them because, like... This just looks like sugar candy. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's another good G.I. Joe classified, but... Like I've said the entire... He, he was a single-carded figure who cost $2 when all the rest of them cost $2. Yeah. And the only real difference is that he has battle effects. And yeah, they're not going to put that giant tank. It's much bigger, but... Yeah, I think the original one was like on a tripod. <gasps> Did the original have wheels underneath? The fake wheels to simulate? No. Oh. It was a stationary turret mm -hmm. thing. Well, wow. So it's way bigger... I get it, but yeah, I just... It does kind of surprise me that there aren't fake wheels underneath. Yeah. But I guess you could just push it if you're going to... For a deluxe figure, he is great compared to some of the other BS deluxe things that Hasbro has pulled on Star Wars guys. But yeah, it just... Like, if it was a trouble bubble, I have no problem with it. What if I... What if my scene for Cobra is them just standing there? And a lot of people it will be. But, like, they're planning the attack, not the actual attack. Okay. Right? I just mean, like... Well, yeah. In rows. Yeah. Shoulder arms, to shoulder. Arms down, boring yeah. vanilla poses. I get it. I understand. A lot of people are going to have that, and all this stuff is going to wind up in a bag or drawer. Yeah. Box. So, I appreciate it. I, it's going to be one of those times, like, yeah, sell me sell me a Todd McFarlane accessory set. <laughs> sure. Put in all the extras, bits, whatever. But, yeah. Yeah, and and without that stuff, he he's you know a four or five GI Joe guy. Like if his knees didn't bend, I probably wouldn't be as 
annoyed by the fact that his knees bend. Didn't bend. Talking hard. Anyway, I, Scrap Iron, I was going to get Scrap Iron number one. He's one of the guys off my list. But, yeah. He's awesome. But, he's he, it feels that they made him uber big just to make extra money. And they could have just done it like a two-up of the old one like they did everybody else. Possibly. Anyway. That's been it for this episode. Like, subscribe, comment below. Did you get this? Do you have opinions? I think it's been a while since we've done a G.I. Joe. They just filmed us last week. Maybe it was two weeks ago. No, it was last week. It was last week. Yeah. Yeah. So cut that. Cut that, cut that, cut no, that. No, keep that. <laughs> idiots. Two idiots. If you needed a reminder. Probably would have given him a four if it wasn't for buying comics.